Welcome to episode 25 of making one bill starting at a level three. So I'm just going to go ahead and address the elephant in the room right now. Rakesy, where have you been? It's been over a month since we saw a video last from you. I'm not going to sit here and make an excuse. I've just had a lot going on in the last month. And to be honest, I've not really been in the right headspace to be playing or uploading videos. I am sorry for keeping you guys in the dark. I should have probably announced it somewhere, but I haven't been spending a great deal of time on my computer. I kind of just needed to get away from everything. But with that being said, I am back now. I do apologize for my inconsistency in the last month. And hopefully I'll be able to make up for that this month. With that being said, guys, I do hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I hope you enjoy. Alrighty, oh boys. We are in free to play again, guys. But do not worry. I was prepared for this. Yes, I did. And there we go. Another 14 days of membership. Beautiful. I am probably going to be shifting between buying myself gear for Tormented Demons and also for doing raids. Obviously, I'm going to have to shuffle the gear around, but I have the main bulk of the items I need. But for me to be able to do raids, obviously, I need to have the BGS and the Bandos Chestplate. For me to be able to do raids, I need to have myself the Tormented Bracelet, the Bandos Chestplate, and the Bandos Godsword. So every time I switch between raids and Demonic Gorillas, I am going to be having to sell the gear and rebuy it. But as you can see, I've managed to rebuy all of the items that I need needed and we have a massive 355k cash stack probably due to the fact that we just spent 4.5 mil on a bond because they're expensive as hell right now have a look at this boys first three kills and we have ourselves a full free to play set right here even the rune two hander beautiful ah, there we go there it is that is every single demonic gorilla drop the ballista limbs coming in i think right now we're around about 900 kc so we basically had no drops since the last video that is the very first item that we've had cheeky 30k uh no zenites and like i said we're on roughly 900 kc and we've had one zenite so far the dreaded dry streak it's came true i know what rng's like i've played this game long enough to realize that there will come a day where i have like three zenites in one inventory it's gonna happen i'm optimistic holy shit that seed is worth 400k dragon fruit tree seed wait i need to look i want to look up how rare this is hold up the dragon fruit seed is a oh shit it's a one in 800 drop chance huh oh my goodness and the limbs are one in 500 see the rng is there we're hitting the table we're just hitting it from the wrong angle hey there we go that is an unexpected level coming in there boys 88 strength i currently have the kraken tentacle and i am using it on shared experience so i'm very close to 81 attack and defense as well and we're 600k for 98 range it's crazy we're gonna get a whole 99 purely through doing pvm i haven't chucked a single chin chomper on this account oh there we are <laughs> Finally, another Zenite, and shout out to this guy. Wow, holy shit, that is about 960 kills for the second Zenite. I'm so friggin' happy right now, my goodness. That has taken like over, I think that's taken over a week to get my second Zenite. Almost a thousand kills for two, I will take it. That was a very, very good trip. Let's have a look at how much we just made there. 12.1 mil, I ain't complaining. Very, very nice. And we are only one trip away from the big 1,000 kill count. All right, yo, let's have a check on the gravestone real quick. 1,004 demonic gorillas have been killed. We have accomplished our goal, guys. And now it is time to bask in the glory, have a look exactly how much we've made, and then finally sell the loot tab off for some very nice profit. Rightio, boys. Let's take a look at what the final loot tab from a thousand kills looks like. As you can see, I have polished off every single rare unique that demonic gorillas have to offer. I have a full ballista set here, one extra heavy frame, and one extra ballista spring. We managed to get two Zenite shards in a thousand KC, which is under the drop rate. But have a look at all of these rune items that I have. 71 pairs of rune plate legs, 64 rune plate skirts, 51 rune chains. I've got 8,000 runeite bolts. Everything here 
adds up. I'm going to get everything out of the bank now, and I'm going to do a little price check. First, inventory of loot, as you can see, mostly being the seeds and also the runite bars, which I imagine are going to be the bulk value of this inventory. How much is this? Just over 10 mil. Not bad, not bad. And the final inventory of loot, as you can see, let's get a price check on the rune items first. 2.6 mil rune plates alone. 2.5 in the rune plate skirts, and if I throw everything in it's a whopping 35 mil that we've made from this inventory so i'm gonna go ahead now sell everything that i have and we're gonna see exactly how much cash we end up with this is the final few items selling right here and we have ended with a total of 45 mil and 770k from 1000 demonics unfortunately obviously we did go a little bit dry when it came to the Zenites, this should be more or less around about 46 mil if we would have got on average drop rate for the Zens. However, it's not the end of the world. I'm still very, very happy with this amount of money. And I think it's time that I get a bit of a bank check and see how big the bank is right now. Before I do that, I have completely forgotten about selling off my law runes, death runes, and I believe that would be everything. So let me quickly just sell what's left here. 5,000 laws and almost 4,000 deaths, which is actually going to bring this up to at least another mil, if not two mil, 47 mil. <laughs> oh, fuck me. We actually made a, a shed ton of money. Wow. Very, very happy with that. Bank overlay is now on. Let's have a look. How much is the bank? 176 million. Oh, we're getting there. We're so close to the big 200. That is a milestone and a half. Now, you guys might be wondering what the next step is for this account. And from here, I'm going to go ahead and train some magic in the Monkey Madness 2 tunnels. I need to get myself Blood Barrage, which I believe is 92 magic. What I had in mind after killing a thousand demonics was to get myself the magic level for Blood Barrage. And then I'm going to invest the rest of the money into Chinchompas so I can go and try my luck at Armadil, which is a big risk because Chinchompas are so expensive. However, Armadil pieces right now are absolutely sky rocket in the orbital chest plate as you can see is 43 mil and the chain skirt right now is 35 so it's a gamble but i think it's a gamble which may pay off as you guys can see we have transformed into a half decent looking fucking wizard right here the ancestral top and hat tormented bracelet the master one this is the best gear i can afford with the best magic damage Percentage. i don't know how much xp i'm gonna be getting an hour but i do know this is gonna be pretty damn fast and hopefully not too expensive. Here we are at the mechanical monkey bursting spot. As you can see, the best bursting spot in game by far. We are about to hit ourselves 84 magic. And for those of you that are curious, we are getting roughly 240,000 magic XP in this gear per hour. I've only been doing this now for probably 20 minutes or so. I've only gained 90,000 XP so far. So if it does go up and increases, I shall let you know. <laughs> How much experience have I gained today? Two and a half million magic XP. We are 90 mage, one level away from hitting level 91, which means we're only one level remaining until we get blood barrage so let's have a look at how much xp is going to be left between 91 and 92 magic and there we go 600,000 experience and i'm getting roughly 250k xp per hour so it's probably going to be another two and a half hours until i'm level 92 we have managed to go from level 92 to 95 hit points in the process of getting 92 magic here it is right now there we go. Lovely. I'm not gonna lie, I've quite enjoyed bursting these. It's been relatively AFK and pretty brain dead, to be honest with you. So yeah, it's been pretty good. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead now. I'm gonna tell you out. I'm gonna see exactly how much it cost me to get from 82 to 92 magic. And then once that's done... We are going to be investing in some Chin Chompers, Armadil gear, and hopefully getting a decent drop or two from Arma. If we go back a few clips to the bank value, the bank was sat at 176 mil, and as you can see, the bank has now dropped to 166, meaning that it only cost us 10 mil roughly to be able to get the magic level we needed. Now, obviously, some of the items that I've bought, such as the Ancestral and a few items in my bank, may have fluctuated in price over the past couple of days while I've been bursting. That will definitely have something to do with how much 
this cost me. And I'm going to go ahead now and sell off all of the bursting gear and everything that I don't need and buy the best in slot armor I possibly can for killing armadillo. And this is a gamble and a half because I'm going to be using the chinchompas to kill armor. But it's a risk I'm willing to take. It's certainly a better risk than going to the dude arena and staking my bank. I'd rather rely on RNG and get rich. Mighty yo, boys. Have a look at this. We have pimped ourselves out. We have all of the gear that we need. And I've bought myself 6,000 black chinchompas. 15 and a half mil has been invested into these with no guarantee of actually getting ourselves an armadillo piece. I think for now I'm going to roll with this gear. Maybe subject to change depending on how well this actually goes. But yeah, this is our first armadillo trip on the account. I'm going to be taking 700 chins. This is the inventory and hopefully it goes very well. And there we go, boys. We managed to wrap up 1,000 demonic kills, making a grand total of 47 mil from the thousand kills we then invested the money getting ourselves from 83 to 92 magic getting 95 hp in the process followed by investing in 6,000 black chin chompers for 15 and a half mil which hopefully in the next coming episodes will pay off it's certainly a gamble but it's a gamble that i'm definitely going to be taking and hopefully we do manage to make more than 15 mil i mean if we get any armadillo piece except from the helmet we've made our money back so yeah Hopefully, we get very lucky. Well, with that being said, guys, I do hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I will see you very soon.